Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> What they do YouTube, it's your boy King David in this thing and I'm back at y'all again with another video. So before I get going on the video, man, y'all know what to do. Go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new so we can continue to grow like we need to grow on this channel. You know what I mean? Alright, so with all that out the window, man, y'all see what the title of the video is. Uh, Javante Davis's contract up with Mayweather Promotions. You know what I mean? So, you know, for me, this is real interesting news, man. Uh, Tank Davis's contract up with Mayweather Promotions. It's, it's real interesting news, man, for, for a few different reasons. Um, the first reason being that we've never really seen Tank Davis be with any other promoter or be affiliated with any other entity other than Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions. Um, so it's just hard to imagine Tank without Mayweather you know what I mean so I say probably that's the first reason and then the other thing is like the business side of things if Tank isn't working with Mayweather Promotions who's he gonna be working with I mean are we gonna see uh, a Tank Davis Promotions which I'm pretty sure has already exists but usually but it exists usually in conjunction with another you know big name promoter is usually how we see these things work so who's Tank gonna pr uh, team up with um, in conjunction with his promotional entity, I think it's the question. What kind of business decisions is he gonna make? You know, in regards to making some of the big fights, is he still gonna be affiliated with Al Heyman? You know, if he is affiliated with Al Heyman, who's gonna promote the fights? And then also the biggest question behind all this, right? Which is the third and final reason that this is interesting is: Are we gonna see Tank Davis in some of the big fights that we want to see? You know what I mean? Because for the longest time, you know, uh, one of the big sticking points for a lot of Tank Davis fans and for a lot of people who support Tank Davis is that they felt that he, wa he wasn't in some of those fights because Floyd Mayweather was holding him back from certain fights. Floyd Mayweather was the reason why certain fights couldn't happen. So it's going to be very interesting to see is when this contract is up with Mayweather Promotions, are we going to see Tank in some of those big fights? Because if we see Tank in some of those big fights, then we're going to know, okay, Mayweather Promotions was the problem. You know what I mean? But if we don't see Tank in any of these fights, if it kind of continues down this path of kind of fighting who he wants to fight when he wants to fight him um then we know Floyd Mayweather had nothing to do with why Tank was fighting the opposition that he was fighting and it was just more of a business plan uh rather than something that Mayweather was holding him back from doing you know what I mean so you know I think that this whole situation is just very very entertaining man. and I think also too the very the prospect of all this is just very exciting for boxing fans, you know, like like myself, because now we're like, OK, well, Tank ain't under the thumb of Mayweather. And there's a good chance that we're going to see Tank in some of these fights that we want to see. That's very exciting. I mean, it's very exciting to think about the prospect of a Tank versus Devin Haney or a Tank versus George Cambosis or a Tank versus Shakur Stevenson or Vasil Lomachenko. Some of those fights that we want to really want to see, even Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. has been talking cash money shit for the last three, four, five years um, to Tank Davis. You know, that's a whole DMV versus Baltimore kind of like situation going on. So are we going to hit that fight? Um, we still never got the Tevin Farmer fight. You know what I mean? Uh, Tevin Farmer from Philly. Tank from uh, Baltimore. These are all big fights that can happen around that DMV area and really drudge up some hype in the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? Not only that, but they're just really good motherfucking fights on top of that. So, you know, I think that this is just very interesting. I'm not going to get excited yet because, again... We don't know who he's going to sign with. I mean, he could re-sign to Mayweather again for all we know. All we know is the contract is up. That's all we really know at the end of the day. So this nigga could turn around and re-sign with Mayweather and then do the, do the same thing for the next 10 years. Or he could sign with another promotioner, uh, promotional company, uh, like a top rank or uh, 
you know, or, or a match room. He could do something like that. I mean, I doubt that that would happen, but he could do something like that and then turn around and do the same shit he's doing with Mayweather promotions for the next 10 years, but just bring home a bigger bag. You know, uh, we really don't know what to expect, you know, but I think that this is just a, a really exciting uh, prospect. The fact that we're getting tank and the fact that, the, that he's going to be kind of stepping into his own and we'll get to see how the rest of his career goes because i i feel like this is the start of his career at this point you know he was with mayweather mayweather brought him up from zero to now and now he's uh stepping out from the shadow of mayweather and going on to his own um hopefully to do bigger and better things you know what i mean you know fight some of these guys josh taylor and something i mean he he, he beat barrio said 140 man i you know Based on how Josh Teller looked in his last fight, I wouldn't be surprised if we seen Tank step in the ring with a Josh Teller and destroy Josh Teller. You know what I mean? Um, you know, so I think there's just a lot of there's always been a lot of opportunity on the doorstep of a Durante Tank Davis. Um, and I think that it's only gonna get better from here. But let me know what y'all think though. You know, hit it up in the comment section below. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And everybody, and I do mean everybody, be sure to hit that goddamn like button one time for your boy. But until next time, I'm going to at y'all. Peace. Well, Devin says they say everything but let's fight. What do you, what do you think about that? Nobody wants to fight his dumbass because he doesn't fucking, he doesn't produce anything.